Hello and welcome back to my channel. In the past few weeks I decided that I wanted to start uploading some shorter videos to show you how to do simple things using Swift UI. So this will be the first video doing that. I'll still be creating some longer videos like the ones that are already on my channel, but I'll be combining those along with some shorter videos as well. So in this video I will show you how you can open a, a link in Safari using Swift UI. So we will start with an empty Swift UI project and opening a link is very simple. We can get rid of this default text that we have over here and we can start typing link. And as you can see, there are different initializers for uh, a link. And the one we will use is uh, the one that takes in a title and a destination URL. So the title is just the string that will show up on, on the screen. So for example, here I'll write, watch my videos on YouTube. And the destination is a URL that I will initialize with a string. And this string will be my YouTube channel. So HTTPS colon slash slash youtube.com slash Ale Patron. And we can force unwrap this URL because we are pretty sure this URL exists. And as you can see, this is very simple. This is just a single line of code. And if we run our app now, we should be able to see a button where uh, we can tap it and it will open the URL. Great, so as you can see, we have this uh, blue text on the screen. This is the default styling for a link. And if we tap on this text, you'll see that Safari will open. Um, great, so now we can go back to the app. And now what if we wanted to customize the text a little bit? Um, for example, like change the text color or the background or maybe add a, an icon. Um, so we can do that by using a different link initializer. So what I'll do is I'm going to go back to Xcode and I'm going to comment out this link that I have over here. And I'm going to add link again but I'm going to use this initializer that requires a destination and a label. So for the destination, I'm going to use the same URL that we used earlier. So I'm going to copy and paste that. And now for the label, you can use um, different Swift UI views in my case, or in our case, I'm going to use a Swift UI label. So we can type label and there's also different initializers for this. And the initializer uh, we're going to use is the one that takes in a title and a system image. So for the title, we're going to add the same string that we had before. And for the system image, I'm going to use play.rectangle.fill. And now we're going to do some customization on the label. So let's modify the font to be a system font with a size of 18. And I'm also going to make it bold. Uh, now I'm going to add some padding with a value of six. Uh, I'll change the foreground, for, foreground color to be um, white. The background will be color.red. And I'll also modify the corner radius to have a value of six. Cool, so let's run the app again and you'll see um, the link, but now it will look a little bit different. Great, so as you can see, we have our, our label with white text and a red background. And if we tap on it, we'll again go to Safari and the URL should start to load. Perfect. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting new videos very soon.